Let's get it started on this tax day with Michelle Schneider, Director of Trading at the Market Gauge Group. Happy tax day to you, Mish. I have a couple of schools of thought. There's so many people who are working for themselves, but if they take out a SEP and put that money into the market, the market could get a boost, but also you have some tax selling going on for people who owe a lot on their taxes. What do you think? Well, you know, to, to pick up on what you just said, which is very astute, there's another interesting thing about taxes. Number one is seven states have filed extensions because of climate conditions that we've had, the hurricanes and the tornadoes and things like that. And secondly, is that we had a huge amount of tax loss last year between cryptocurrency and the actual stock market, which means that people might actually not have to pay as much as they thought. And that could turn out to be a plus. Would I bank on that? No pun intended to actually move the market in any significant way? No, but it's certainly not a negative. Let's put it like that. As a pro trader, what's your biggest tax tip? Well, for me personally and my husband, we have a good account. I'm not a tax person. I, I just, I never can really think like that. I've got so much data stuffed in my head just in terms of the markets. Sitting down and doing taxes to me would be excruciating. <laughs> so we have a, so my advice would be have yourself, if you're not good at this sort of thing, don't try. Go get yourself a good accountant, especially if your taxes are relatively complicated, and especially if you're trading things that have K-1 forms, like some of the commodity ETFs that we've talked about throughout the year. Are there any tax-related stocks that you like? Well, I decided, knowing this question was coming, to look at two different types of, of stocks that are related to doing taxes. One is uh, in, into it, which is actually software. So it's more of a technical stock but people use that software to file their taxes. And so right now, that's in a bullish phase. That looks pretty darn good, actually. It's been compressing pretty much in like a $20 range between 430 and 450. It's a high flying stock. And if it takes out 450, I think we can see a $30 move. That's on the bullish side. Then if you look at H&R Block, which is what people go to to get discounted services for people preparing their taxes, that's actually been in a bearish phase. But again, it's compressing between 32 and 37. If it takes out 37, I actually think that could be interesting. And it's following very much in line with what's happening with the regional banks in general. So... That's uh, uh, two, two things to look. And also earnings today uh, in terms of regional banks, which could be related, State Street ooh, tanked, whereas Schwab actually did better than uh, what, they, what people thought they would. So there you go. It's all over the place. Well, me and my accounting crew, a.k.a. my mom and dad, and perhaps some TurboTax may have been involved, finally got the taxes done. Thanks so much, Mish. Thank you so much. <laughs>